How Humans Have Forced Animals to Evolve Whether you believe it or not, there's no doubt that humans themselves have had a hand in evolution over the years. Whether it be because of our hunting or because we want cuter pets, we have a tendency to twist and create forced evolution so that the animals that surround us bend to our will. Today, we'll be looking at some dogs and some other animals that have been forced to evolve because of human influence. But first, before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. Also, check out our bestie friendship quote at the end of the video. Let's start with some dogs that have been forcefully changed or evolved because of humans. Over time, breeders have selectively raised dogs in order to have specific physical or mental traits to appeal to future pet owners. Some of these traits, which breeders will attempt to manipulate, include demeanor, the texture of their coats, size, and various other features that we have forced dogs to evolve over the years. Unfortunately, designing breeds for a more desirable outcome can have a negative effect on the dog itself. However, the risk of creating health burdens hasn't stopped the international breeding of unhealthy dogs. Reviewing pictures of breeds from over 100 years ago in the 1915 book, Breeds of All Nations by W.E. Mason, it's clear to see how breeds have visibly changed. According to the science of dogs, they haven't just changed visually, but they've grown to become more unhealthy. Here are eight dog breeds and how they've changed after a century of intensive breeding. Number 1. The Bull Terrier These previously athletic dogs have been improperly bred over the years, which has caused a drastic change in appearance and health. Due to the manipulated changes this breed has experienced, modern Bull Terriers often suffer from dental problems stemming from the fact that they have too many teeth. Mental deficiencies have also been a result of improper breeding, including compulsive tail chasing. Number 2. The German Shepherd 100 years ago, this breed was considered to be a medium-sized dog and had many notable features. These have become distorted through intensive selective breeding. German Shepherds of today are a whopping 30 pounds heavier, developed sloped backs and barreled chests. Due to these changes, the breed often suffers leg and hip problems with age. Number 3. The Pug Pugs are a very distinguishable breed, but they've only become this recognizable due to breeders continually attempting to exaggerate the dog's features. These forced changes have resulted in a number of health issues for the breed, including high blood pressure, heart problems, low oxygenation, and difficulty breathing. Number 4. The Boxer Part of the boxer's aesthetic appeal is their shorter faces, which breeders have continually tried to manipulate to make even more emphasized. Unfortunately, shorter faces tend to result in more health problems. Boxers of today have shorter and more upturned noses, which makes them more prone to breathing problems. Their short snouts also result in difficulty controlling their body temperature in the heat. Number 5. The Dachshund While Dachshunds have always had small legs, they used to be proportionate to their bodies. The Dachshund's features have been exaggerated and manipulated through intensive breeding. Now. Dachshunds have notably longer backs and necks, which have resulted in the legs shrinking to the point that their chests are almost touching the ground. The Dachshund is more at risk to suffer from invertible disc disease IVDD, than any other dog breed. Number 6. The White Terrier In 1915, this breed was known for its athleticism, great instincts, and overall high functionality. However, 
Improper breeding has tarnished most of these initial qualities. The breed has been intentionally stunted over time to make them smaller. This has made them significantly less athletic and has diminished the breed's ability to follow their instincts. Number 7. The St. Bernard Back in 1915, St. Bernard dogs were known to be noble working canines, but unfortunately, intensive breeding has squandered that ability. Now, St. Bernard dogs are oversized compared to their ancestors, have shorter muzzles, and have been bred to have abundant skin. A number of diseases have come with these changes, and their ability to work has diminished due to how fast they can now overheat. Number 8. The Basset Hound There have been a number of notable physical changes to this breed since 1915. Improper breeding has caused even shorter legs, longer ears, and droopy eyes. Now, Basset Hound bodies have gotten lower, which has resulted in vertebrae problems. They also have excessive skin, and their droopy eyes make them prone to entropion, a condition where their eyelid is turned inward, and ectopion, in which the eyelid is turned outward. Well, that concludes our quick study on the dogs that humans have forced to evolve. But are there any other cases of forced evolution that we can study today? Maybe some animals outside of the canine kingdom? Yes, in fact, there are some, and yes, we are going to take a look at them. Number 1. Tuskless Elephants This is definitely a sad case of forced evolution put onto animals, and it has everything to do with humans. Let's examine elephants and their tusks for just a moment. Yes, these gentle giants are some of the biggest creatures on Earth. However, their size does little against a poacher with a gun. This is unfortunate because poachers just love getting their greedy hands on elephants' tusks and will kill the majestic beast for their ivory. This is why some elephants have started to be born without their natural defense mechanisms. Listverse.com reports that, in 1969, around 10.5% of all Zambian elephants were born with a mutation that prevented the growth of tusks. By 1989, a peak time in ivory poaching in Zambia, the number rose to 38.2%. If we had to look at the bright side, we'd say at least these elephants won't be poached as often. Number 2. Atlantic Cod Let's shift focus from ivory poachers to fishermen for a second. We want to go on record and say that if you do catch and release, that's all right. Also, if you fish legally and only keep the limit, then that's all right too. The problem we have is with overfishing, and that's the Atlantic Cod's problem as well. Another issue this fish has is that they're too delicious. So we humans love to just take them from the water and slap them on a dinner plate. So much, in fact, that the Atlantic Cod was one of the most overfished water creatures in the world until a moratorium went into place to protect the species from extinction. However, the Atlantic Cod also took measures to protect its own kind from going extinct. The Cod apparently knew that when they got too big, humans would come and pluck them from their blue, liquidy home. So, they started mating earlier, so that their babies would be smaller. If they're smaller, the humans will throw them back, and they can keep having their babies. Until they get too big, that is. Then, they've got to dodge the fishermen. Number 3. Bed bugs. Yuck. We went from beautiful elephants to a fish that only certain people would find cute to something everyone hates. Well, it turns out bed bugs know we want them dead and have evolved to combat our ways. National Geographic tells us that bed bugs have evolved to become more resistant to the pesticides that we've created to deal with them. They have increased their thickness of their exoskeletons and mutated other natural defenses in response to the poisons we use. So not only can they feed off of us while we sleep, they'll even survive when we try to poison them. Just burn the mattress until they become fire resistant. Then it's off to hide in underground caves. Who's with us? Number 4. 
Mice. We feel that some people are torn on mice. We here at Bestie like mice because our writers are rat people. They're just so adorable when they nibble on cheese and they have that little twitch in their nose. No, 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 our writers, not the mice. Mice do do that too. Nevertheless, the rodents and also possibly the writers are pests, often carrying some disease. So occasionally, if there's an infestation, we'll need to use a poison called warfarin to get rid of them. However, after experiencing this kind of death for years, the mice have begun to create a new hybrid mouse that is resistant to the poison. A German mouse and an Algerian mouse have combined their genes to create a kind of super mouse that cannot be killed by warfarin. So if you find these hairy black-eyed creatures skittering around in your ceilings, it's best to call an exterminator. Again, we're not sure if we're talking about the mice or our writers. And that's it. What did you think about our list of forced evolutions? Did you think it was sad? Are you impressed by the ways nature or humans have forced these animals to change? Let us know in the comment section below all your thoughts on human influence throughout the animal kingdom and everything you think about forced evolution. Bestie friendship quote. You had me at, we'll make it look like an accident. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.